Hi, my name is Brad Siff. I'm the founder and president of BioWave Corporation. Uh, I am very happy to introduce you to our 18th webinar. Uh, the title is BioRap Smarter Wearable Technology, Application and Benefits of Using a Patented Wearable Compression Electrode Technology with our High Frequency Peripheral Nerve Stimulation. I will be the, the lecturer this week. And um, at the end of our, uh, our webinar, I just wanna remind you, we will have a live Q&A session. There is a Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. And uh, please enter any questions you have via that Q&A button, and then I will answer them uh, at the end of the, the webinar live. Thank you. And uh, with that, we'll get to our presentation. So thank you for attending our, uh, our presentation on the BioRap Smarter Wearable Technology. Um, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is our high frequency peripheral nerve stimulation that's used in conjunction with the BioRap technology. Uh, our high frequency peripheral nerve stimulation is a patented deep tissue signal technology. It's able to pass through the skin directly to pain nerves. Uh, the signal technology hyperpolarizes C fibers, and as a result, it inhibits action potential propagation uh, along the pain nerve. It actually interrupts the transmission of the pain signal locally uh, at that location of the nerve. As a result, because we're directly affecting the nerve, the average duration of pain relief is for about, on average eight hours following a 30-minute duration treatment. Uh, this active electrical field that forms uh, treats both nociceptive as well as neuropathic pain. And our device has active feedback control built into it. So it prevents a patient from going too high and getting a burn. So it's, uh, uh, it's the only, only type, only electrical stimulation system on the market that has this built in safety technology. All of our devices are very simple to use. There's no programming. It's literally power button and plus or minus to, so the patient can control their own comfort level. And the sensation from the treatment feels like a deep, smooth pressure sensation. So uh, patient compliance using our devices is excellent. We have significant clinical validation uh, on the efficacy of our high frequency nerve stimulation technology. And we've got uh, nine completed clinical studies. The, mo the two most recent ones were one, the first was published in uh, pain practice in June of 2021. Uh, all of the data is consistent from study to study. Uh, and this particular study was on 463 patients. The average reduction in pain score was 3.1 points on a scale of zero to 10, your, your standard VAS scale. Average duration of pain relief was eight hours. 54% of patients reduced uh, their pain medication consumption, and that includes the reduction in opioid use. And 98% of patients report that they wanted to continue to use BioWave. Um, in the study that was more recently published in pain and therapy, uh, in February of 2023, uh, that was covering 1,511 patients. The average reduction in pain scores was 3.48 points uh, on a scale of zero to 10. You, again, your standard VAS scale. In this, we looked at ADLs. It was a 2.47 point improvement in ADLs, on, on, again, on a scale of zero to 10. The quality of life score uh, measurements improved by 87.6%. That includes better sleep, better improvement in mood, able to walk further, able to stand longer, among other things. And in this particular study, 97% of patients said they would continue to use BioWave. So how does this high-frequency signal technology work? So in order to affect a nerve fiber in the body, you have to encompass it with a low frequency electrical field. We define low frequency one Hertz to about 180 Hertz 
in frequency. The problem is that the electrical properties of skin, the impedance, the capacitance, prevent low frequency signals from passing through the skin. And that's a fundamental issue with TENS, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. We know that high frequency signals, and we define that as greater than a thousand hertz in frequency, can pass through skin into deep tissue, but individually don't necessarily have an effect on C fibers and A delta fibers. So what we discovered is if you add together two high frequency signals, and we're using 4,000 hertz and 3,878 hertz, when you add them together and deliver them to a single electrode, they will pass through the skin into deep tissue. And what we discovered is when they pass into deep tissue and they hit any polarized structure, so for example, the membrane of the C fiber or the A delta fiber or muscle tissue, that plus charge sitting at the surface of the nerve causes these two high frequency signals to multiply together. And the multiplication of these two signals creates a new spectrum of signals that forms in a three and a half inch diameter hemisphere beneath where that first electrode is. So the result of the multiplication provides three high frequency signals, a low frequency signal and harmonics on the low frequency. So the invention is that we found a way to get the body to produce a low frequency electrical field inside the body that in right at the surface of pain nerves where it's actually encompassing the pain nerves. So um, how, does, how does this device work? So we deliver that first high frequency signal uh, to the first electrode, the active electrical field forms in that hemisphere beneath the first electrode, encompassing all the pain nerves uh, beneath where that electrode is placed. Then the device immediately delivers the, the high frequency signals to the second electrode. The high frequencies pass through skin into deep tissue, they hit polarized structures, the active electrical field forms in the hemisphere beneath the second electrode, we capture pain nerves in, in that volume of tissue as well. So BioWave is an alternating current device. What does that mean? The it means that the device alternates the delivery of the high frequencies back and forth so quickly between the two electrodes that the body never realizes the signals have left either location. So the net effect it's as if you're treating two distinct volumes of tissue simultaneously. As a result, electrodes must be placed directly over locations of pain. We never surround the pain site like you would with TENS, interferential, or muscle stimulation types of devices. So what is the active electrical field really doing? We believe there are several mechanisms of action at, that produce the empirical results that we see in all of our clinical studies and, and real world data. Uh, the first is frequency con conduction block. So the active electrical field forms at all points of polarization, including, for example, at the plus charge that sits at the membrane of the C fiber. And so that basically that plus charge forces the multiplication of the two high frequencies. And the result is that the hyperpolarization prevents the sodium potassium ion exchange across the membrane of the C fiber. So that plus charge can't form on the inside of the C fiber. That plus charge is the action potential. And so basically this electrical field is inhibiting the transmission of action potential. So it prevents, it inhibits action potential propagation along that nerve. In other words, it's blocking, it's inhibiting the transmission of the pain signal along the nerve. We know also that there's a significant effect on A delta fibers. Hyposthesia is induced five minutes into the treatment. Uh, so there's light numbness, there's a little bit of loss of proprioception in the in the area surrounding and beneath 
each of the two electrodes. And if the patient has a 30 minute duration treatment, there's approximately 30 minutes of residual hyposthesia following uh, the treatment. So some patients, it lasts a little bit longer, some a little bit shorter, but on average, you get about 30 minutes of residual hyposthesia. By the way, that hyposthesia kicks in about five minutes into, into the treatment. There's also the active electrical field produces afferent stimulation. In other words, stimulation that travels from a distal location on the body up to the brain. We've proven that in a study in vivo inside a human being. And so we believe that because the biowave electrical field produces afferent stimulation to the brain, it allows the brain to be more efficient at producing the body's own endogenous opiates like endorphins and keflins and serotonin. Other additional benefits include there's increased blood flow. It's not necessarily because of vasodilation, rather components of blood, of blood have a charge associated with them. When a charged particle hits an electrical field, it has to be accelerated through that field. So we see increased blood flow in the volume of tissue beneath and surrounding where those two electrodes are placed as well. Finally, muscle tissue is also polarized and the effect that the electrical field has on the muscle tissue is that it holds it in tension during the treatment. It's not like an NMES, a muscle stimulation device where it's a rapid contraction release. Rather, this feels like a pressure, a deep, smooth pressure sensation. So patients really like the way this feels. And as a result, uh, you know, compliance using our device is excellent. And when patients are prescribed our device, it's not put in a drawer somewhere. Patients actually use it and they use it every day to manage their pain. So if you could pair this uh, advanced high frequency peripheral nerve stimulation technology with um, a much improved electrode technology, what would that look like? And so the solution is BioRaps, which are a wearable compression electrode garment uh, technology that we've developed. The big advantage is that we're able to deliver our high frequency peripheral nerve stimulation through a much larger electrode area. So we can treat up to six times the treatment area. We use a permanent advanced silver fabric technology. So patients are getting compression and, and we have it's a compression garment. So patients are getting compression simultaneously while uh, the garment allows the delivery of our high frequency neurostimulation technology into deep tissue. There's no guesswork for the patient as to where to place the electrodes because the garment can only line up a certain way. The garments are reusable. They're easily clean with an alcohol disinfectant and we provide a one-year warranty uh, on these BioRaps. So we've designed BioRaps for many different parts of the body. And these bio wraps with this advanced silver fabric technology um, can be used with our BioWave Pro device and our BioWave Home prescription device. All the bio wraps come in two different sizes, a small medium size and a large extra large size. And the bio wraps, in this case, the, the ones on the extremities, the knee and the foot ankle can be used both on right side or left side. Some specifics in the design of the bio wraps. This is the back bio wrap. And we've built in very large five and a half inch by three inch bilateral lumbar silver fabric electrodes. So a patient can really get a treatment across the entire lumbar region uh, of their back. Um, there's single compression from the primary strap and the Velcro closure. These are made out of a, a very high quality neoprene fabric. Um, the back bio wrap also has designed in a second secondary compression straps so they can be with Velcro closure so they can be pulled off 
pulled forward and strapped and Velcroed tight. So you really get excellent compression while you're getting uh, the, the BioWave treatment. On the knee bio wrap, we've designed in uh, silver fabric electrodes that cover the entire medial and lateral aspect of the knee uh, over the joint line. We also cover most of the anterior of the knee. And the, uh, one of the uh, straps provides compression directly over the silver fabric electrodes. The second uh, elastic strap provides compression over the distal end of the thigh to help hold the whole wrap in place. So it can be used to treat pain that results from ligament sprains, pain from osteoarthritis, meniscus pain, post-operative pain, almost any type of pain that presents in the knee. And this knee bio wrap can be applied to the right knee or the left knee. We've also designed this foot ankle bio wrap. And what's really unique here is we designed a circumferential electrode for, that goes just above the ankle. And so it goes all the way around the perimeter of the ankle, above the ankle, and a second circumferential electrode that goes all the way around the perimeter of the foot. This allows you to capture all of the nerves running through the ankle and the foot. When you treat with this, it feels like the entire ankle and foot are being stimulated. Um, this device has individual compression over each silver fabric electrode, so you can control individually uh, how much compression you want. Um, we target uh, the tibial nerve, the medial and lateral plantar nerves with this device, and you can treat pain resulting from tendinopathies, from sprains, from painful diabetic neuropathy, PDN, from other neuropathic uh, pain conditions or post-operative pain conditions in the foot. And again, this device can be used either on the left foot or the right foot. Um, we've also designed an elbow bio wrap. Um, the electrode placement provides treatment both on the medial and lateral aspect of the el elbow. So it can, it's a bilateral elbow electrode location. Um, one elastic strap provides compression directly over both silver fabric electrodes. The second strap provides uh, compression over the distal end of the biceps and the triceps, which helps hold the whole wrap in place. This wrap targets the radial and ulnar nerves. You can treat uh, any type of chronic or acute pain throughout the joint. And this device can be applied to the right or the left elbow. We've also designed a hand wrist bio wrap. This bio wrap, like the foot ankle bio wrap, has a circumferential electrode design. So there's one electrode that goes completely around the hand. There's a second electrode that goes completely around the wrist. And we're capturing all the nerves that are traveling uh, down through to the fingertips, which includes the radial nerve, the median nerve, and the ulnar nerves. You're getting individual compression around the hand and individual compression around the wrist. So both can be adjusted individually. Um, we can treat any type of uh, chronic or acute pain throughout the hand or wrist, including tendinopathies, pain from carpal tunnel syndrome, or post-operative pain, uh, as an example. And this device also the same device can be applied to either the right hand or uh, the left hand and wrist. Finally, we've designed an extremity bio wrap. Um, and this has designed in very large 4.75 inch by 3.75 inch silver fabric electrodes. They literally allow you to treat an 11 inch by eight inch uh, volume of tissue, and this is designed to be used anywhere around the thigh or the calf. So you can treat pain throughout the hamstring, throughout the quadriceps, uh, the IT band, abductor, adductor, and the smaller version of the device can be used to treat the calf 
or shin splints. Um, there's two compression straps, so you're getting individual compression over each of the two electrodes. And this device can be applied to the right or left thigh or calf. We've also designed a shoulder bio wrap, but we're in the midst of that design. Uh, so I, I don't have an example of what that looks like right now. It's a, it's a more complicated design. Uh, but it's going to enable us to treat various different aspects of the shoulder. The treatment protocol when using bio wraps is similar to our conventional electrodes. It's a 30 minute duration treatment. Uh, we recommend starting with two to three treatments per day. Um, multiple treatments uh, can provide a cumulative benefit. And the best way to do that is to uh, separate each treatment by about 30 minutes. So you do a 30 minute treatment, you wait 30 minutes, you do another 30 minute treatment, and that will give you uh, the, the greatest cumulative uh, benefits. There's no limit to the number of treatments you can do. Uh, patients can treat on an as needed basis, um, but eventually patients usually need only one or two treatments a day to um, completely manage their pain. Uh, both doctors and patients do report that there is there are cumulative benefits, as I mentioned, with multiple treatments. Um, from a reimbursement standpoint, uh, coverage is available for all BioWave high-frequency neurostimulators, uh, electrodes, and biowraps. So, in uh, the Veterans Administration, in VA hospitals and clinics. Bio wraps, all bio wraps are available on our federal supply schedule price list. They're part of the existing contract that we have in place. In college and high school sports, we have an athlete insurance program and we have contracts in place with AG administrators and BMI and BioWave will manage the entire process for the athletic trainer. In pro sports, we have workers' compensation contracts in place with most major work comp carriers. And similarly, in pain, ortho, and spine clinics, we have workers' compensation contracts in place with most major workers' compensation carriers. So in summary, uh, the combination of our high-frequency peripheral nerve stimulation plus our BioWrap patented wearable compression electrode garment technology provides numerous key benefits. One, on average, patients can obtain about eight hours of continued pain relief from a 30-minute duration treatment. We can treat up to six times the volume of tissue as compared to conventional electrodes. There's no programming. It's very simple to use, a plus minus button so the patient controls their own comfort level. Uh, and the treatment feels like a deep, smooth pressure sensation. It's very comfortable. So treatment compliance is excellent. For more information, please contact us. You can reach out at info at biowave.com or call our toll-free number. We have a whole customer support team, 1-877-BIOWAVE. Thank you very much. And please stay for our question and answer period. So thank you everyone for attending this conference, uh, this webinar. Please, if you have any questions, submit them in the Q&A box at the bottom of the screen. Um, and uh, we will, I will begin answering some of the questions. Um, here we go. Uh, so the first question I received is, uh, what is the best way to clean or sanitize these to be used in clinic for patient trials? So that's a, that's a very good question. Um, we would recommend the use of an alcohol wipe, for example, like Purell makes alcohol wipes, doesn't have to be that brand, but um, you al alcohol has been tested on the silver fabric electrodes and uh, it cleans them really well and it actually it improves the conductivity of the silver fabric over a long period of time. So we, we, what you cannot do is use 
a chemical based wipe or other chemical agent because uh, the chemicals can um, cause the silver fabric to degrade over time. And if the silver fabric loses its conductivity, uh, we're not going to be able to get that uh, electric field into deep tissue through that very large area that we're trying to treat. So um, in clinic, uh, an alcohol wipe would be the easiest way to clean off uh, the active treatment area. Um, if a patient's using it at home, we recommend just hand washing in a, si in a sink with some mild soap and then towel dry and then let air dry after you towel dry it. Um, next question. Um, um, follow if the cleaning protocol is not acceptable in the VA, what is the best way to evaluate a patient for a wearable? So ultimately it's the biowave high frequency signal technology that's producing the uh, effect, the beneficial effect for the patient in terms of pain relief, improvement in ADLs and whatnot. So I would first test the patient using non-invasive electrodes and see how they respond to treatment. If they respond to treatment with non-invasive electrodes, they'll absolutely respond to treatment with the BioRap. The advantage of the BioRap is that you're able to treat a much larger volume of tissue and you're adding compression you know, simultaneously while that treatment is occurring. So if it makes sense, if the patient needs a larger volume of tissue to be treated, then the BioRap is a better solution. And if, it, you know, if, if in the provider's judgment, uh, compression would be beneficial to simultaneously while having the BioWave treatment, then um, that's another reason why the BioRap would make sense for the patient. So uh, in the event that you that a provider cannot do a biowave, bio wrap trial, do the trial with non-invasive electrodes, and that if they respond positively, then uh, that's really then uh, that's really they could move forward with a bio wrap. Um, next question: uh, Are there specific pain conditions that bio wraps are better for treating versus con conventional electrodes? In other words. What types of patients are ideal candidates for biowraps? So it's a little bit, the answer to this is a little bit what I said before, but let's take, for example, the BAP biowrap. If someone has a point specific pain location, then conventional electrodes might be better. But a lot of times patients say, my whole, you know, my back hurts across the, the whole area. Um, and so if, in that event where patient has kind of broader pain across the entire lumbar region or even thoracic region, because the BioRap can be you know, placed over the lumbar or thoracic region, um, then the BioRap is, a, is, a, is a definitely a better solution because you're treating really the entire lumbar area because we have such large uh, built-in electrodes in the BioRap. Um, in the case, an example for like the foot ankle bio wrap, um, if a patient has pain, pain that results from painful diabetic neuropathy and the whole foot feels like it's on fire and you know with a dull thudding pain, um, it's very hard to treat that with just two electrodes. But the circumferential electrode just proximal to the ankle and around the metatarsal region of the foot allow the, the, the treatment to capture basically all the nerves running from the ankle down through the toes. So it feels like the entire ankle and foot right to the toes is being stimulated. So it's really a terrific solution for patients that have, you know, pain throughout the entire foot, ankle and foot, or just foot. Um, that's, so that's the reason why you'd want to use a bio wrap for those types of patients, as opposed to just conventional electrodes. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> for the knee, it's gonna be the two much larger electrodes that cover the entire you know, medial, medial and lateral aspect over the joint line of the knee. So two patients that come to mind <clears throat> are patients that have pain that results from osteoarthritis of the knee. 
the pains throughout the whole joint. Uh, the BioRap is an ideal solution uh, for that type of patient. And uh, patients suffering from postoperative pain, you've got a post-op TKR patient and the pain is through the entire joint. Um, having, being able to treat a much larger volume of tissue makes a lot of sense. Plus the compression from the knee BioRap is also providing some support uh, to that type of patient. So those would be examples of patients for the knee BioRap. Um, and so that's, uh, th th those are some examples for specific types of pain conditions where BioRaps would be better than conventional electrodes. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? If, um, how long do BioRaps last? Um, well, if they're cleaned on a regular basis, they should last about a year. Uh, we have a one-year warranty on them, um, so uh, that's what uh, you can expect. Uh, you know, so that's uh, that answers that. Um, but here's a good question: Do you have to use the conductive cream in order to do a treatment? Um, and then if so, can you use other conductive mediums like ultrasound gel? So one, you have to use the conductive cream with the BioRap because it, it, the, the reason that we can deliver our high frequency signals through much larger area electrodes is we have to reduce the impedance of the skin. The conductive cream that we've tested with these BioRaps is, is designed to work specifically with the silver fabric uh, that's built into these bio wraps. And so if you don't use the conductive cream, the device that you're using, the BioWave Pro or the BioWave Home, uh, may not see the skin because the impedance is too high. And it would be difficult to drive the signals through the very large area because you'd have to, you'd probably max out the, um, the intensity on the device. But if you drop the impedance by putting the cream on the skin, then the patient doesn't have to go up to very high intensity. The, the treatment sensation will feel strong at a lower intensity number. And, and that's the key to be able to use our devices with these bio wraps. So the answer is the conductive cream is essential. Uh, it's, a part, it's a part of the system, you need to use it. Now, <laughs> excuse me, what about other conductive mediums? Um, you cannot use other conductive mediums and we've tested many other conductive mediums. And so one of the issues, for example, with ultrasound gel is that it degrades the uh, conductive properties of the silver fabric over time. And so we have seen with uh, uh, customers who have tried using ultrasound gel that maybe after two months of use, um, your uh, the the we the the conductive um, the conductive properties of the silver fabric electrodes drop over time, and the user the patient has to go up to higher and higher intensities, and eventually uh, the our devices don't see the silver fabric touching the skin. So please do not use other conductive mediums. Use the conductive cream that comes with the bio wraps. It's been thoroughly tested for use over long periods of time. And, um, and please use alcohol wipes to clean down the, the silver fabric to keep them clean. That will give you continued the optimal results uh, you know, as you continue to use the bio wraps. Um, I've got another, I've got several more questions. Um, so like using with non-invasive electrodes, can you be mobile or can you do range of motion exercises while wearing the bio wraps at the same time? So with the back and the knee bio wrap and the thigh calf bio wrap, you can be mobile and you can walk around, um, but because you've got compression over that location, it may be difficult to do any type of range of motion, particularly with the knee. You've got compression, you know, below the knee and above the knee. Um, 
So it's not really ideal for doing range of motion exercises. Similarly, if you have a back bio wrap on, it's gonna be difficult, more difficult to do forward flexion, you know, or, or extension or side to side. So it's not, they're not really ideal for doing range of motion, but you can absolutely be mobile. The foot ankle bio wrap, because it's ac across, you know, uh, it's across the foot and it's also all the way around the ankle, it's not really designed to be walked on. So with that device, the patient is best sitting uh, for the, the 30 minute treatment. Um, let me see. Couple more questions here. Okay, the the question is the numbness felt sometimes during treatment and after is it damaging the nerve? No, it's not. Uh, you have to think of BioWave. Uh, the analogy it's it really acts very much like a chemical anesthetic like lidocaine. So we're not damaging the nerve, uh, but we've got a period of about 30 minutes post-treatment where um, the nerve, uh, we've, you know, there, there, there's light numbness and um, some loss of proprioception that occurs surrounding and beneath where each electrode is located. You could think of BioWave as working in a similar ma manner in terms of mechanism of action to a chemical anesthetic, except the active electrical field that forms inside the body is inhibiting the transmission of pain signals electrically instead of chemically. So there is no nerve damage. Uh, full proprioception comes back. Some patients, they, it comes back in 15 minutes. Some patients, it might be longer than 30 minutes. Depends on the intensity reach. There, you know. The, the type of tissue that it's going through, there, there's a number of variables, but on average that the, the light numbness is 30 minutes. The other residual benefit from the afferent stimulation on average lasts about eight, eight hours. Um, how much deeper is penetration of BioWave than TENS? So the, the problem with TENS is a uh, TENS device is delivering low frequency signals, typically between one hertz and about 120 hertz, uh, to electrodes that are sitting on the surface of the skin. The electrical properties of skin, like impedance and capacitance, prevent low frequency signals from passing through. So the TENS signals only travel across the surface of the skin between the two electrodes. Uh, you could power those signals through the skin at very high voltage, but then you would burn the skin. So essentially TENS devices cannot deliver signals through the skin. And what the patient feels is kind of a noxious twitchy sensation at the surface of the skin, which may act like a distraction to the pain, but the electrical signals from the TENS device are not getting in depth to where the pain nerves are that are conducting the pain signals up to the brain. So when you turn a TENS device off, if it actually worked as a distraction, um, the, then the pain comes right back because you've removed the distraction. So um, BioWave, if we're getting this active electrical field in a hemisphere, uh, about a three and a half inch diameter hemisphere surrounding a two inch diameter electrode at the surface. So if you have a three and a half inch diameter hemisphere, you've got about uh, an inch and three quarters in depth of how deep the electrical field goes versus, you know, maybe a, a quarter of an inch, uh, you know, or, or approximately with tens. So it's a very significant difference in terms of depth of penetration. And that's because of our high frequency uh, signal technology. Um, that's, are there any other questions? I think I've answered all the, all the questions. A any remaining questions? I hope. So, 
Uh, I want to thank everybody for attending. Uh, some excellent questions. I hope that everyone uh, found this helpful. Uh, and please join us next month for our, our next webinar, number 19. I believe it will be on PENS, on percutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. And we should have some case studies from a significant PENS user. Uh, so thank you again. And this will be available on our website. So if you have colleagues that weren't able to join in uh, and see this live, uh, this will be posted to the website in the next few days. And, and you can go right there to, to webinars on our website and see it there. So again, thank you very much for your time. Uh, take care.